In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually use ChatGPT to write letters, the master type of letter and the master the purpose of the letter, so make sure to stay tuned. But before we proceed properly into today's video, I want you all to note something which is very very important. No matter what ChatGPT provides you, no matter the answer, no matter the quick way to whichever need you require, ensure to always read properly throughout the entire text and make sure to make adjustments and also add your personal ideas. Do not just use the entire text directly without even reading or without even adding your own personal ideas. Okay? So yeah, if you're new to my YouTube channel, you're seeing my face for the very first time, or you're hearing my voice for the very first time, kindly subscribe as I do all full lovely content as you're about to watch again in today's video. So yeah, let's hop into the main tutorial for today's video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to open chat.openai.com as you can see on my screen right now. And if you don't have a system, you don't have a PC, you can also do this on your mobile device. You basically want to go to chat.openai.com as you can see on my mobile device right now. And then you want to do the exact thing I'm going to be showing you guys right now. So like I said in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually write letters using ChatGPT. So first things first, what type of letter do you want to write? Is it going to be an informal letter? Is it going to be a formal or is it going to be a semi-formal letter? So for example, let's assume I would just want to write an informal letter. So basically what you want to do is you basically want to get the main idea of the letter you want to write. Probably you want to write a letter to your you know, family member or to your mother that you're traveling somewhere or to your sister that you're actually going somewhere. Or you want to write a letter to your broader about an event that occurred, whichever, whichever example. So all you want to do is to just ask ChatGPT, write me, write me a letter, or write me, you need to be specific to make things easier, okay? Write me an informal, write me an informal letter, informal letter on an event. I attended for on an event I attended to my brother. Let's put it this way to my brother. All right. So, as you can see, guys, ChatGPT is basically just going to give us the idea. Do not forget what I mentioned at the start of today's video. No matter what ChatGPT provides, you basically want to read it through and also try your possible best to do the exact standard of the letter okay for example as you can see over here hey bro i hope this letter finds you well i just wanted to tell you about the event i attended last night good this is actually okay as you can see it's actually short and precise okay and before i proceed if you want it to be longer you can just ask ChatGPT, make it longer make it longer basically ChatGPT is going to make it longer as you can see ChatGPT is going to recreate the entire you know letter itself that's why ChatGPT is so powerful it's actually a powerful ai of today okay so basically what you want to do is to make adjustments okay for example let's say i want to use this one hey bro as you can see i'm just going to copy this okay ctrl c and then i want to open a document file if you're going to be using you know using uh, an E letter, for example, you want to send it through your system of stuffs, you basically want to use probably Microsoft Word or whichever document, you know, software you want to use. And if you need to write it, you basically want to do the same thing and then write it down on a normal script or normal paper and then make your adjustments. Okay, so I'm just going to be using Microsoft Word to show you guys real quick. You want to control V, okay, control V, so you can close this. So I'm basically just going to change this uh style okay to something normal and then i'm um, just gonna make the 16 and then we can leave it this way i just want to show you guys we all know informal letters basically has an address okay it has your own house address as you can see charging bt didn't provide us with the address okay so this are some of the reasons why you need to make adjustments and basically, if you just want to depend on ChatGPT, which I wouldn't advise, okay, you basically just want to ask ChatGPT, rewrite this with an address, okay? ChatGPT is going to do it for you. Like I said, you need to be specific to get the specific answer you want. For example, rewrite with an address. 
I'm telling you, as you can see, ChatGPT is going to rewrite it. The address, as you can see, it's showing us the guideline. Okay, it's showing us the guideline before the letter itself. So basically, your name, your address, zip code. This uh, not everything here is necessary. Okay, so basically, like I said, an informal letter. It's just going to be a single address, which is your own personal address. But ChatGPT doesn't really give us that exact guide, okay? So as you can see, recipient name, recipient address, it's not really all this and not really necessary in your informal letter. This is basically what you need, okay? Your address over here and then your probably your country or state, whichever, and then dear, probably dear mother or uh, dear sister or dear, your, dear baller, whichever name of your sister or brother, whichever. So that's why I'm saying it's better to actually copy this. ChatGPT is already giving us the guide, as you can see, a good guide. All you want to do is you want to taste it and then start making adjustments, okay? Do not just use the exact thing provided by ChatGPT. Good. So as you can see, basically, all you want to do is just to, you know, you can remove this and then you want to add your address. You know, it's usually at the right, okay? So you're basically just going to add the address like that that like that like that okay and then you can read through i hope this letter finds you well and you can make your own idea you can add your ideas or you can you know add things that are necessary based on the exact thing that happened okay let's say it was on last night let's say it was you know yesterday okay you just want to change it to yesterday you know just want to make adjustments okay so please try as much as possible not to just use the exact thing okay you want to make adjustment all right and if you want to do the same thing for your more letter you basically just want to ask chat gpt again write me write me a formal letter to my boss on a water issue in the office okay this is just samples okay so as you can see chat gpt is going to do the same thing and we all know, you know, you should know how a letter is being constructed, okay? Your your major address is going to be at the right top, and then your boss address is going to be, you know, at the bottom left before the dear, okay? So basically, you want to use ChatGPT as a guide, okay? I'm writing this letter. You can use all these, okay? It's basically giving you the guide to make your letter quick for you, okay? Like I said, no matter the purpose of the letter, probably you're writing it to your boss, probably you want to be using it as a business, okay? You want to help people write letters, or you want to use it for an online assignment or a competition, whichever. So you basically want to do the same thing for whichever letter you want to write, and then you want to make adjustments and add your own personal ideas if it's actually necessary, okay? So yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you surely learned a lot from today's video, and if this video was of high value to you, make sure to subscribe if you still haven't subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video.